Hi, from this video, you will learn how to mount a rapid mid-250 or mid-750 kit on your bike. Small size does not always mean small possibilities. In the package, you will find electric motor, display, brake levers with the sensor, throttle, remote controller, sensor with the magnet, motor mounting tool, crank arms, and several zip ties. In a moment, this ordinary bike will become an e-bike. Flip your bike upside down. Remove the crank using the tool from the set. Start with the puller. Be careful, crank threads can be easily damaged. Now unscrew it from the other side. You can help yourself with a wrench. Screw in the other way. The puller should screw in easily. Remove the crank. Remove the bottom bracket. And the cup wrench, size 24, will come in handy. Remove the bike chain. Chain removal tool is included in the toolkit. Just push out one pin. Then unscrew the front derailleur. You will not need it anymore. If the tooth wheel is too close to the frame, add one of two spacers and mount the motor in the frame. Put the black plate on the left side and tighten it using two screws. Put on the ring and tighten it, then slightly screw the silver cap. Now you can use more force and tighten the screws. Tilt the motor to the back wheel and slightly screw in the lock to its body. Then use on one of the screws from the package and screw in the whole motor to the seat tube. Now you can screw in the lock with much more force. Make sure that the motor is well mounted. Screw in the silver cap using the tool from the kit. Finally, screw in the screws and make sure they are all well tightened. Remove the pedals from the old cranks. Then mount the crank arms from the kit and screw back the pedals. Remove the cable housing. Fit back the bike chain. Use the chain tool from the kit one more time to join chain. Make sure that chain links are well connected. Hard work is done. Flip your bike back on the wheels. Mount the battery adapter in the water bottle holes. And install the battery rail. Now let's build the cockpit. Remove the grips and disconnect the brake cables.
remove both brake levers. Then mount the gear shifter, brake lever, throttle lever, and grip, respectively. Place and tighten both shifters and brake lever with the sensor. Tighten the brake levers. On the left side, mount the remote controller, lever with the brake sensor and grip. And then place and tighten the lever and remote controller. Now you can mount the display. Don't forget to connect the brake sensor, remote, and throttle to the display. Mounting the brake sensors is optional. You can use your own levers. Connect the brake cables and lead to the cable housing of the rear derailleur. Attach the cable housing to the bike frame. If the cable housing will not fit under the motor, lead it above it or from the left side. Connect the derailleur and shorten the cable to the required length. Don't forget about the cable's end cap. Connect the remote to the display and lead the wire to the motor. Take some time and organize the wires. Tighten the battery adapter to the frame using the zip tie. Mount the magnet to the spoke. And place the sensor on the rear fork using the zip tie. Leave about three millimeters gap between magnet and the sensor. Connect and secure the sensor wire. Connect the wires bundle and battery plug. Finally, tighten and cover the wires. You can use the neoprene band from the kit. Just add the battery. And done. Your e-bike is ready.